Welcome to the knowledge of managerial accounting. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate return on investment (ROI). What is ROI? Return on investment (ROI) is a method to evaluate performance of an investment center in a decentralized organization. So, ROI is a method to evaluate performance. So how can we calculate ROI using the ROI formula? So ROI can be calculated if we multiply margin and turnover. So what is margin and what is turnover? The first formula can be stated in broad as like this. We can calculate ROI by this formula and here we can see net operating income divided by sales. And this is the part of margin and sales divided by average operating assets and this is the part of turnover so this is the broad formula for ROI calculating and this is very easy to understand for the managers to understand their performance by which they can increase the ROI if they can increase the sales price or if they increase the amount of sales or if they can decrease the operating expenses so this second formula can be stated as a short formula as like ROI equal to net operating income divided by average operating assets these three formula are same the first formula is margin multiplied by turnover and the second one is the broad form of the first one that net operating income divided by sales multiplied by sales divided by average operating assets and if we avoid this sales and this sales from the second formula we will get this short formula net operating income divided by average operating assets so in the formula we have seen net operating income so how can we calculate net operating income net operating income is income before interest and taxes and is sometimes referred to as evit i mean earnings before interest and taxes so net operating income means earning before interest and tax in short evit on the other hand we need to know what is the amount of operating assets i mean average operating assets so what is operating assets operating assets include cash accounts receivable inventory plant and equipment and all other assets held for operating purposes so to get clear idea about operating assets we need to know what is non operating assets land held for future use an investment in another company or a building rented to someone else these assets are not held for operating purposes and therefore they are excluded from operating assets so for the calculation purpose we need to find out the average operating assets average operating assets means if we add beginning operating assets with the ending operating assets and if we divide by 2 we will get the average operating assets whenever we are taking the operating assets value we should consider the net book value i mean acquisition cost less accumulated depreciation so practically we are going to calculate roi so here is a problem or example you can see suppose that the best market grill expects the following operating results next month here sales 100000 operating expenses 90000 net operating income 10000 average operating assets 50000 so with this amount we are going to calculate roi so the ROI formula is net operating income divided by sales multiplied by sales divided by average operating assets so here the net operating income is 10,000 we can see 10,000 and the amount of sales is 100,000 here 100,000 and again sales 100,000 and average operating assets is 50,000 if we calculate this if we divide 10,000 by 100,000 I mean if we divide the operating income by sales the result is 10 percent and if we divide sales by average operating assets the result is 2 so if you multiply this two amount we will get 20 percent so here the roi is 20 percent i mean the return on investment is 20 percent the more the roi the better the performance and we can calculate the roi in short form and that is net operating income divided by average operating assets and the amount of operating income is 10,000 and average operating asset is 50,000 the result is 20 percent so we can also use this formula but for better understanding we should use the broad formula which is very helpful for the managers for decision making because by using that broad formula they can decide how can they increase the margin and turnover for the purpose of higher ROI which is a benchmark for their performance thank you